What's good YouTube? It's Dave from Creative Ice Media Group. I know I haven't made a tutorial in so long. Um, I've been really, really, really busy with um, photography, um, other design work, basically my portfolio, school, exams, coursework. I know I say this all the time, but I'm busy. Um, this is going to be an experiment tutorial, and the next few tutorials also will be experiments. And it's basically an experimental series that will be called 10 Step Wonder. And it will be like tutorials that are like 10 steps or under or just a tiny bit over. Basically really, really short um, tutorials that provide, um, that make really nice, quick, easy, fun effects. Okay. So the first one is going to be fire eyes, evil fire eyes. And it's really easy to do. All you need is two things. One, an image of an eye and two, an image of fire simple right um, so this is how it's gonna look at the end I'm just gonna start from the beginning okay first thing you're going to want to do is make a selection and I'm sure everyone knows how to make selections by now if you don't just use your pen tool okay actually wait, before I start okay if you don't know how to make a selection click on the pen tool which is there make sure your settings are like mine so bang bang Bang. Okay. Once your settings are like mine, you can continue. And basically, you just start making a rough selection around the eyeball, around the iris, I think that's what it's called, right? Okay, and as you can see, these eyelashes. These are actually really nice eyelashes because they'll give a nice, nice effect. It's sort of in a way, but it's okay. It's nothing to really worry about. Um, if you you can see by my selection, it's quite rough and all right, and it doesn't. It's not like it's a crime to make it rush because at the end of the day, it it won't make that much of a difference. Okay, once you have this selection, right click and press mark selection as I have done there. Now what we're going to do is click on our rectangular marquee tool, which will be this one. Right click, select inverse. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to our image of fire. Okay. And I'm going to select it, go edit, copy. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to my eye image. I'm going to go edit, paste into. All right. Looking good. Now what we're going to do. You can just press Ctrl T or Command D, depending what system you're on, and just scale it up, position it where you like it to be. Um, I think I'll leave mine something like that. Okay. Um, then what you're gonna do is change the path mode to hard light, and you're gonna lower down the opacity. Now, depending on your eye color. The opacity will, will be different. I'm going to stay around 50, 60 maybe. Yes, yeah, 60, 60 is quite nice. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to go zoom in and click on your eraser. Okay, and we're going to click on hardness 100% and master diameter is going to be different for everyone. Okay, just go and like you can see where the iris is. You can like click and like. You can just see what the iris is. It does faintly show. So you're gonna like try match a master diameter to the iris size. I reckon that's all right for me. And just um, delete it away and see how it looks. Okay. If you're happy with that, click on your layer and you can with your paint tool. Um, it'd be nice if I remembered what size it was. 104. Um, with your paint tool. Just go over it with a black. Okay. Like that. Zoom out. And you have yourself some sexy evil fire eyes, I guess. Uh, like I said, this is just an experimental series. Spend much more time than I did. Make your fire eyes look sexy. Uh, comment on the video. Tell me if you liked it, if you like the idea of like the 10 step tutorial thing. Um, favorite the video, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, please. Um, or I will have to shoot you. 
Um, what else is there to say? Follow me on Twitter, people. David JC link will be in the sidebar for my Twitter link for website, Facebook page. Add me on Facebook if you want to do work or just want to get married. Um, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Just rate, comment, subscribe, share the video, post it to the tutorial websites, please, because helping me helps other people just like you. And yeah. I'm off to go record the other tutorial of this series, so peace, homies.